Hey folks, finally doing a video in my car. Just kidding, it's parked. <laughs> um, hey, I wanted to talk to you guys about having a low self-esteem. I'm really sorry if you're struggling with this one. You've probably had it since you were a kid and it sucks. It really uh, pervades your whole life. It's sort of an umbrella for all these other emotional struggles one could have. Whatever you're struggling with, if you've got a low self-esteem on top of that, it's a mess. It's, it's, it's a recipe for disaster for sure. So again, I, I'm sorry if you're struggling with this one because it's, uh, it's a dark cloud, right? Because essentially the, the inner dialogue that you have inside is, is negative and, and um, uh, really tyranting you from the inside. And then somehow you attract that in your life. Other people are giving you a hard time and you're already giving yourself enough of a hard time. You don't need anyone else, but somehow the world, the universe just works that way and it's cruel, I know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that you're struggling with this one. Um, I've got a few ideas. I thought I'd share them just off the hip here. I haven't really planned anything, but um, yeah. So the inner dialogue, how can you change it? And so from, you know, the negative to the positive. So it's a big, long battle and it takes a while and I'm sure you've done some work on it. And so keep going. I encourage you that it does work, if you will, the work um, and the healing process is worth it. Um, but yeah, so first off, it, it, something happened when you were young. There was a relationship. There was uh, some dynamic that made you believe, had you believe that you were less than for whatever reason. And uh, it could have been, say, so an uncle just kept saying, you're not good enough, you'll never do it, you'll never get it. And that voice is still in your head. And so it's like, how can you get that voice out, you know? And so there's kind of like a cutting away. And so the typical therapy 101 would sort of go to the back, uh, of, of like in background history of, of your struggle with this particular uh, dilemma and then just hammer it out. So that's a good way to do it too you know, talk therapy. Um, but, and there's, there's ceremonies too, where you actually go back and you sort of, you know, cut away from this person. There's another one I like to do with people where you, you sort of go back in this sort of uh, lucid state, you know, um, sort of uh, uh, it's almost being like hypnotized. But anyway, you go back and you comfort yourself into a situation where, you know, you were really struggling with this and, and it works. It's pretty cool actually. Um, but yeah, there's a, a distinct sort of like that's what I was like when I was little and it's like I don't want to be like that anymore and so you're again you're you're cutting away from this story that you keep telling yourself and somehow again you're you keep sort of attracting to yourself this same reflection that's saying yeah you're not really that good at that you know and you're just like what so there's a cutting away from the past and there's it's for me it's a lot to do with forgiveness to be honest maybe you need to call somebody on something maybe you need to tell your uncle you know what buddy i really didn't like the way you did that and da, 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 and you have a little confrontation sure and at the end of the day you got to kind of forgive them and let them go more for yourself you know most people know that one about the forgiveness bit it's more for you and so you, you move on from your past and in the present situation, you're looking around and you're like, oh man, I've got people that don't treat me that good. So it's like, you're not treating yourself good inside. So the classic, you're reflecting back, the life is reflecting back to you that you're not good. And so it's like, some people would say it's not their fault uh, in a way, you know what I mean? They're just reflecting back sort of what you are sort of portraying that and this it's time for good boundaries and 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 sort of saying okay you know what everybody no more of that no more bull i i'm not taking anyone's uh, negativity or um anger or um people taking advantage of you whatever it is slowly one by one with all your relationships you got to kind of um patch them up or chop them off patch them up or chop them off and i would say don't throw the baby out with the bath water just chop them all off and like i said take some accountability for the fact that you've sort of created this this uh this scenario and so um yeah just you know sort of be delicate with yourself and be delicate with with your peeps so yeah it's like changing the dialogue and so if it's terrible. You're walking up to a place, a store or something, and, or a party, and you're saying to yourself, oh man, no one likes me. Um, 
I'm not going to have a good time. Uh, um, I, I'm not good enough. These people look at these nice cars. They have nicer cars than me. Whatever it is that's going on in your mind, right? How can you change that to like, I'm good. I'm good. Things are going to be okay. You know? So there's therapy. There's all kinds of different ways, you know, to kind of try to, to figure it out. Even just telling people what you're honestly feeling inside instead of keeping it inside is a really good way. Um, but straight up, listening to your own dialogue and writing it down and getting creative about it and writing a song, um, some poetry, uh, printing, uh, like do a, a drawing about it. Just sort of get creative with this inner dialogue. Bring it out into the light, if you will. And then look for the opposite uh, words and phrases of those so that you know you can call them affirmations if you want but basically sort of something you're writing on the fridge or some people get tattoos about them you know whatever it is I used to put reminders on my uh, arm with ink on my hand here about a little symbol reminding me of, of, of my own power if you will and so what it comes down to is it's like what are you good at w what are you known for as far as your gifts and focus more on that focus on what you're passionate about and focus on the, the, the lighter side of, of all of these things you can't do everything so if, if you're a good artist but you're terrible at basketball you know you, there's some things you just need to let go maybe you're not gonna be that good at basketball but then there's some things that are worth pursuing like if you see if like say poetry for example if you go to a poetry reading you're like oh my god this I could do way better than that then do it your low self-esteem is stopping you from doing it I know but that's the whole chasing your fears and so your low self-esteem is creating all of these fears that are, are fictional they're not real and there's nothing to be afraid of to stand up in front of a group of people and share some poetry which most people are afraid of you know it's kind of a bad example but the idea is figure out what it is you want to do that and you're afraid to do and start doing it. I'm always saying that in a lot of my videos, so I'm sounding a bit like a broken record. But this really works. You have to trust me on this one. Get out there and and um, and pursue your dreams is what it comes down to. And they don't have to be fantastical. They can be just simple things. You know, start small. You want to do a pottery class? Just go and do the pottery class. And, and be gentle and kind with yourself along the way. And again, when the negative stuff comes, write it down and be like, hey, what's going on here? You know, and have a relationship with it instead of being like, you have to go away. Be like, hey, what's going on? You know, kind of it's 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 how can you be light and gentle even with the, the negative part of yourself? And then, like I said, demand from other people too. this this respect and this um, gentleness. If someone's not being gentle with you, you call them on it. If someone's kind of looking at you that, like, you know, like you're nothing call them on it say hey what's going on I don't know your face looks funny or it's all crunched up you know and just just call them on it and like I said and, and then people who are nice to you here's another one if you have a low self-esteem there's people that are nice to you they light up when you, they see you but your esteem so low that you never reach out to them and then they don't become your friends you rather hang out with someone who's kind of hard on you because that matches what's in your head stop doing that start reaching out to these people that light up when they see you and give you compliments and just know that you are worth it and you're it's your birthright as a beautiful human being to to love and to be loved and and to shine your gifts out we need people to shine their gifts out more than ever right now so um yeah that's all i can think of right now i'm what do we got eight minutes oh it's getting pretty long anyway take care of your beautiful selves people i'm, I'm sorry if this one's uh, bringing you down or if it's your kid it's so hard to watch your kid have a low self-esteem but uh, yeah just if it's someone in your life love them up be honest with them about stuff you know whatever it is but love them up and give them a break and don't let them uh, um, talk negative to themselves and, and just you know let them let them feel nurtured and and if it's you let yourself be nurtured do nice things for yourself. Say nice things to yourself. Okay, take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye-bye.